girls, this is Claudia here from Metal Days 2018, and this time it's 10 ton slug. Bam! Right? Yeah. 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 So, um, you just played on the festival here, and uh, you had several concerts before, so what is up next? Where else are you gonna play? Uh, after this, we're back to Ireland and we're supporting Conan, mm -hmm. Mighty Conan, for two dates in. Uh, Limerick and Galway <laughs> and then after that we play a festival in December yeah. in Belfast in Dublin or Belfast in Northern yeah. Ireland yeah. Yeah. yeah the other place and we're headlining that it's called Crypt of the Rift yeah. so Stoner Metal Festival so yeah, yeah. yeah. and then and then, and then next year we're uh, playing at Hammerfest oh. in Wales yeah. okay and uh you told me before the interview that uh, you also won a contest. So yeah. what, what contest was that? Uh, that was the Bloodstock Metal to the Masses um, in Ireland. They have regional ones all over uh, the UK and in Ireland as well. And in 2016, we won that one. In 2017, it was Zora. And then 2000, this year, it's a band called This Place Hell. We're really, really good friends of ours. a really good band. So they're playing uh, Bloodstock this year. So there's a bit of an Irish invasion happening. <laughs> there's an Irish invasion most years at Metal Days with his other band, the Crunia. They've been over a load of times. And uh, they play the main stage. He's played, a, yeah, he's played every stage at Metal Days now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there are loads of Irish bands going everywhere. A bit of an Irish invasion. And uh, they're all part of it. Bloodstock helps that. Metal Days helps that. It's great to be able to travel and play gigs places and play riffs that are on a little island next to a little island in the very west of Europe. It's really cool. Yeah. And uh, we've also been talking a bit about the songwriting that you're doing. Yeah. So uh, it's the two of you, right? Mainly. Yeah, mainly, yeah. It's the two of us to do the writing. And, uh, and Michal. And Michal. Yeah, he does. <laughs> the drummer, Michal. Yeah. Mikor, we call him. Or Mogor when he's extremely grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like the latest song we've been writing, it's actually called Mo. Well, the working title called Mo Gord the Unkind, and it's uh, it's based on the how do you say Hittian Hittite Hittite Empire it was the lost empire that uh, just vanished from history three thousand years ago, and they were very they attacked the Babylonians and the Egyptians, so wiped out for centuries. And so we're, we're watching. Yeah, we're writing lyrics yeah. about them because they're yeah. ferocious warriors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. At the minute, things got to a, from a new EP, it's got to a, a new level of heavy. Yeah. And more atmospheric, sort of, yeah. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds fuller, I think. It's, it's coming together nicely. Like, we try to learn from each one that we do, and you put so much into the writing, and then when you get to record, you're learning all of that as well. And yeah. it's as much about learning, I guess, sometimes how to record what you sound like because yeah. we would find a lot that our live show is better than what we have recorded okay. which is a good way around I think we're more yeah, comfortable yeah. with it but we still have a lot to learn in terms of recording and we've been doing a step up every release so far so we're kind of we're really hoping to push and to do that again with a new one um, and it's it's all coming together at the moment so um, it'll be next year next year it'll be recording and we'll be we'll be hopefully released next year as well yeah so, uh, do you find that um, when you're writing and then recording, it's necessary to have like several layers? Like, you know, yeah. overdubbing with uh, guitar is normal? Yeah, we used to have two guitarists. Yeah. It used to be myself and another guy, Adam, um, who plays in the band uh, Weed Priest. And it used to be the two of us in Tent on Slug. And the Bloodstock appearance that we did was his last proper gig with us. So since then, it's been me. And I've used two separate amps. So I split my, my signal, two separate amps. I kind of get the fullness of two guitars and stuff. But when it comes to playing live, you have to think about how to do it all by yeah. yourself yeah, and right. have it full. And then when you do something like when you record, you can really take it apart and look at the different uh. parts and see how they work together and, and get it sounding really full. And mm -hmm. it's, it's great being able to go into the studio and do that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's, you, uh, you have something in the background and live or you play everything? Oh, no, we yourself? play we play everything, yeah. Okay. And we just look at how, I guess, when it comes to recording then, how we play it, what's being played and how you mm -hmm. can kind of fill that out a little bit more with, mm -hmm. with the guitars, but to the yeah. point that your live 
performance sounds the same as you know that it doesn't sound really different or there's loads missing or something yeah. mm -hmm. there's loads to learn from it and we're, we're learning as we go and it's uh it's nice listening to loads of other underground bands and seeing how they're doing stuff and yeah. how they sound really big and heavy and huge because mm -hmm. that's kind of what we want to get across <laughs> just a little bit yeah <laughs> a bit of heaviness a little bit of heaviness yeah <laughs> 10 tons of it <laughs> <laughs> Um, when you're writing your lyrics, like, how do you go about that? Do you start on an idea or bits yeah. and pieces of words that Just, are in your head? Yeah, it, well, for me, it's like a, a feel when I'm jamming with the guys. I get a team and just come, something come into my head, and mm -hmm. I just write it, jot it down, and then from there I make a team out of it. Like one of them was about a siege, yeah. uh, on a city, so. Made, mm -hmm. Just make it up. Well, not make it up, but you do make it up over right? time. Like yeah. you sit down and make it all up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making that up? It's like a jigsaw. <laughs> it's fun. Like it's. It's like, like a jigsaw. Yeah. It's like a little puzzle, and then it it's, absolutely wrecks your head. It's great to express yourself, but in lyrics that uh, don't necessarily say what you're saying, but it's mm -hmm. to you. It means something mm -hmm. um, tribal. Like. Our last EP was all about, our first EP was all about these big monsters. Like, and uh, it's just fun, you know. Yeah. It's just reading up and reading, reading books and stuff like that and uh, fantasy. Is, it's just inspiration, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. That's it, yeah. Make it all up. He's making yeah. it all up. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, have, <laughs> <laughs> I have a question that I ask like always and since I think you might know it by now I ask you <laughs> okay. uh oh no uh, what or who decides what is an artist are, are you an artist I suppose society d decides who's an artist mm -hmm. um, I guess it's like you know if you have to say you are something you might necessarily be that because you have to state it you know mm -hmm. like a man who says he is king is no king kind of a thing yeah. so I think with an artist the more than art like if you ask somebody what is art well, art can be many different things to many different people, but we can all recognize the core concept of what it is, but mm -hmm. to articulate it is difficult. So I yeah. think artist is, is an artist is not defined by the person themselves necessarily. It's by the people who value what they do. Mm -hmm. And if somebody values your output, they will call you an artist, whatever your output is. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so are you so happy about that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so, a great answer. Yeah. So, do you remember what you said last time? Something about painting. <laughs> I think so. um, exactly what he said. Yeah. There's no mm -hmm. better way to expert describe it, but it's so. expression. Expression, like. Mm -hmm. And if people like it, people like it. That's art. Anything can be art, I think. Mm -hmm. So, if there is like a lot of criticism and people don't like it, is it still art? I don't know. It, I, like I've thought about that loads of times, and it is. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own ideas as well, and everyone has their own point of view. Mm -hmm. Then it's controversy, and that's an art form in itself. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, if you do something for, it's like, have you seen the documentary, the Banksy documentary, Exit Through the Gift Shop, oh, where he, yeah. he, yeah, um, there's a guy, Mr. Brainwash. It's a friend of his who's like huge into Banksy's work and everything, really wants to film him. And Banksy had always told people to create art and stuff, and he tells this guy. But the guy goes about it with this process that's like, he hires a load of different people, and he hires out this rental space, and he pays everybody to produce his art. Mm -hmm. And it makes you question, what, what is art? But if it gets people talking about it, and it creates that kind of split where people agree with it and people don't, then mm -hmm. I suppose technically it is, yeah. even mm -hmm. though you went about it in a different way sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. you can be, yeah. Uh, that's how I put it, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Better man, John. <laughs> Better man. <laughs> um, so, when you uh, think about bands who are just starting out and they say, well, we don't really know what to go for and what to do and it's also difficult, what would you tell them? Uh, I'd say work, well, obviously work hard at what you're doing, but mm -hmm. even so we're talking to other bands, yeah. just like, I, for me, for years I was too afraid to go up to annoy anyone to talk to them, like, how do you do these things, like, as a band? Mm -hmm. You learn by doing as well, but I'd study, like, look up things online and say, this models of how to do things, like, mm -hmm. and just be nice to people and be friendly, and we're all human at the end of the day, so. Right. Yeah, we can all help each other. 
yeah. you know if, yeah. if a band's looking for something then say like we don't know stuff either so, you know yeah. we're learning as we go the best way to do that is sure. get in touch with us or chat with somebody yeah, else and true. you could build you'll build up a, a network of people that can help you and want to help you because right. you help them back yeah. and that's the only way like that's what, how we treat this with all yeah. the bands that are here sure. chat to them the good people and we can help each other let's help each other uh, was how we do things in Ireland it's how we try to do things where we go and it's what it's that's the scene that's what it is it's people helping people learn the basics yeah. learn the basics yeah. of how to deal with things is the main thing I'd say <laughs> yeah. the, the stories have your, have your equipment have, yeah. on have everything ready <laughs> be on time <laughs> yes yeah. so folks be nice and watch out for what's to come from the band right Fly. next year <laughs> bye bye, bye.